All right, so this is take two because I was given this uh, given this recommendation from a viewer name with the initial M, and I was starting part part one, but I almost vomited on myself just listening to these fucking girls just be loud and fucking just just being fucking disgusting. You know, the one is kind of cute. Well, but well, both of them are kind of cute. But keep in mind, you know, they're they're dolled up. You know, for a fucking show, I get it. But, uh, so I'm going to start off, like, the watcher actually told me to start from 119. I'm going to start off from a minute earlier, because this is a funny part, man. The funny part is this. Like, girls do not realize how much they tell on themselves to guys who are, like, actually listening to them. <laughs> like, they're not aware of it. So, from what I gather, the little girl on, on the left, the little light-skinned girl, both of them think they're cute, right? It, it, it's funny. But, um... Uh, <laughs> It's funny and it's sickening at the same time because uh, for another point I'm going to hit on later. But so she's a single mother. She has a little girl and she dated a guy who uh, wanted her to pay for the food. Now, of course, she's going to try to bash the guy. Of course, I get it because it, it, it's woman's nature. Woman's nature is to seek man for protection. So when the man is not, uh, uh, you know, when a man is not clearly of some level of protection, whether it's physical, financial, or emotional, or intellectual, once he does not reach any of those admirable levels to that woman, oh, you become a fucking joke. That's just how it is. Now she's just kind of dealing with you till she finds something better. Maybe, like, you're not too low on a totem pole with it, but, like, she really don't... She's not cooking for you at this point, all right? She's not cleaning nothing you got at this point. Because she, like I said in a video a couple, a couple videos back, um... It's, it's, it's like it's like you getting a job or you getting paid 40 percent less than what you know you're worth. Well, you gonna come in there and half ass that shit unless you just really need the fucking money. You're going to half ass it because, you know, you're worth more. It, that's just what it is. So to continue, she's bashing a guy. Right. Ah, he ain't pay for my rib or, or, or I pay for his ribs. Blah, 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 blah. But see, this is the part that that that, that they don't get. They see. This is how quickly. I don't know her personally, so I don't want to feel I don't feel like directing the shit towards her personally. But this is what dumb bitches don't get. All right. I don't know if she's a dumb bitch because I only heard her talk for about two minutes. It sounded like it's kind of leaning that way, but I don't know her. So I'm not going to just directly call her a dumb bitch with shit like this. But this is what dumb bitches do, man. They are like everything with a woman is usually so so especially the younger and then like the prettier they think they are. Everything is really quick. So when, when that happens, she has to immediately shift the blame on him. Well, no, the blame is still on you, sweetheart. You want to know why? Like I said in videos, a couple of videos back, people who know they can shop in Gucci go walk in the Gucci stores. People who, know that, people who know that their place is to be in Walmart, they go walk into Walmart. People who know their place is, is Louis Vuitton, they go walk into Louis Vuitton. You see, so when you get approached by a man like this, Okay, that, that tells me one of two things. Either one, you were too stupid to realize what he was, and, you know, how he was talking and everything that led up to that. Or two, some, when you're out in the wild for real, uh, that's the quality you pretty much are. And, 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 and let's be real. I mean, you're, you're already a single mother with a young daughter. We, we'll get to that later in the video. But yeah, we're going to start here. Form and try to shade me so pop up to the live event so we no, can no, make it no make it easy. Hey, listen. You know, you know, that, you know the location. You have a great show. Show. We have the same location I'm we checked out of that venue. Wrestling, dog. Just hit me up, dog. We can have a conversation <laughs> when, about when this. When the gang throws Nah, nah. Hey, 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 cash app, dollar sign, Mr. J. Hill. You pay, send you pay that man. Send him his money. Send him his money. I have a Today. Send him his money. I want... And send my cousin her money too. Okay. Like, man, like, and just real quick, like, see, if God, I'm not even in three, two, one, one, two, three mode. I'm just like exhausted from this. This is my second time here running through this just loud, ratchet, dumb shit. But one thing is just super disgusting is when women start talking like this. Just, they're just loud. You know, fucking rough. And it, 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 the, the funnier part is this, you see, because in mo most cases, these girls, they grew up with a single mother, grew up listening to rap, the single mother fuck some loser in the fucking neighborhood type shit. So now all they do is watch movies like Paid and Fool and gangster movies and stuff. So now they're starting to imi imitate guys. They start to talk like this, though. They start to do this, though. 
it's not fucking cute. All right, it's fucking disgusting. The only reason you're even desirable, like I say in videos back, because you're biologically entitled to being a woman because you were born a fucking woman. That's like 98% of what's even <laughs> getting you out by life at this point. <laughs> Talking like this, though. And you're, you're, you're a fucking woman. See, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm probably not going to do it. That's my girl texting me now. I love you. My day is great. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I'm tempted to offer probably the even cuter one, the one on the left. I'm tempted to offer her a plane ticket when I go back to Prague, and and and, and I want to fly her there with me, and I would pay for her fucking Airbnb, whatever the fuck, on the condition that I get to follow her with a camera and see the look on her face when she sees brothels in Prague. <laughs> like, like I'm tempted to do this shit, like. Gen gentlemen, men, guys, if you knew the options that you have in the world, you would never, ever, ever, ever walk in the same room with the, with women like this. You wouldn't do it. You could. I'd rather. I, I I I would much rather jack my dick off to fucking porn for the next three years than to walk into a room with the. It, 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 if their vocal cords are working. <laughs> I would rather jack off in a room. As, if you knew, as men, if you knew the options you had in the fucking world, you would never, ever, ever, ever go around women like this. You wouldn't. You just wouldn't. Because you know, you knew good and damn well that that soul food, that macaroni and cheese. Because look at her. She, she's, a, she's a cute girl. And she's one of the few girls who can get away with the short hairstyle. Because most women can't do that. She can pull that off. She's a cute girl. But as soon as, as soon as they, this is a lot of women's problem, man. A lot of women's problem, as soon as they start talking, that's where, like, so like, like I said, the beauty can get them by for a little while. The beauty, that'll get them by. But as soon as they start talking, that's, that's the, usually the big separator for them. That's the big, the educated, unedu un educated, uneducated, gold, gold digger, uh, looking, trying to speed rush a family in five minutes because her sister has a family. You know, once they start talking, that see, that's why so many women get pumped and dumped. That's why, because they start talking. <laughs> and you gotta talk to them. As long as they just sit there and smile, just oh, you can fuck them out. You you know, you keep them around. You know, keep them in the back room, whatever the fuck. You keep them somewhere. But as soon as they start talking. That's when it, <laughs> bro. You, I'm telling you, if you knew, if anybody watching this has not been to like uh, like good brothels or been in like good parts of Europe that has good hookers, like bitches that look better than her, you'd fuck them for fifty dollars, and they dressed up, dolled up in heels, ready to go, just took a shower, and then you take a shower in the room after you're done with her. Put like this, man. <clears throat> you will find girls who look better than her. Fifty dollars a piece, and you can buy as many of them as you as you want to. Like I said, I'm tempted to pay for her plane ticket to fly her to see to buy her to, to fly her to Prague just to see the look on her face when she sees what's really out there. Because like I said in other video in older videos, women don't like Europe. They women like Europe because it sounds exotic. You see, it sounds like just like just like how European bitches love America. They like it because it sounds like because to them, America is foreign to European women. So they also they love American men. America. Oh, he's, he's from America. 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 They love it's the same. It's, it's the same both ways. But if, I'm telling you, man, like I said before, if men, if you knew the options you had in the world, you would you you you, you would rather you would rather jack your dick off than, than sit in a room with something like that. Point blank. Then the, the nigga had the nerve to order smothered pork chops. Like, <laughs> motherfucker, you better get some chicken fingers. You ain't paying for this. I, I mean, you want to put me out there? I'm gonna put you out there. But like I said, hey, we gonna let that's it. I got nothing else to say. I, I digress. No, she, it's the, it's the, he had the nerve to order smothered pork chops for me. Cause you gonna smother them and you ain't paying. <laughs> you got the audacity to order smothered pork chops? Not even bare, bitch. And then say that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gold digger. Oh my God. And you order his mother pork chops, you hoe. Digging gold. You don't have any gold. This is, this is, he deserves chicken tenders from McDonald's. A you can get a four piece. You get a four piece. Hold up, hold meal. up. Y'all really want me to air it out on the no, first no, date? No, 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 no. shit. No, Fuck that shit. No. Nah. Oh, on the first date, no. on the first date. Hey, yo. Now listen to this. Now tell me, t from 
a man's perspective, tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick? Because I'm running behind. Woo woo. We get to McDonald's. All she got was her classic, a milkshake, four piece nugget and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asked for the bread, <laughs> she's like, like "Where's that?" Me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you said run me through the McDonald's real quick so we can. Yeah, nigga, you gonna pay for it? I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I think that's the problem already. Right that was now. the first problem. That ain't no problem. I mean, at that moment, that's your problem. Look, and it was at that moment. Now I had the bread. You paid for the. And I even asked him, did he want anything? But look, it was at that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. But because he ain't pay for your daughter food. Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly. See, this is why I said earlier, man. See, she she's telling on her. See, she she thinks. See, t- to to guys who are initiated with with female thought pa- processes and patterns, see, in her mind, she thinks she's shifting all the attention on the guy for being. Oh, he I'm he wants me to pay. He want me. See, he thought he can get away with that with you. So that says a lot about you, not him. I mean, yeah, he, maybe he might be a bum, whatever the fuck. I get it. But he thought he can get away with that with you. You see, you see, a bum doesn't walk into Gucci and expect to be treated like fucking royalty, right? Because he knows, he or she knows that they can't afford Gucci. So they get that, you know, that that hierarchy down pat. Like, I'm, I'm a little lesser than that shit. I can't afford that. You know, so they might not even want to walk in there. She's telling on herself. And and not even realizing it, cause like like cause okay like 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 I said before, man. If she's such a great fucking catch, why is she dealing with this guy? If she's such a great catch, how did he make it through the fucking you know path to get to her like that? If she's such if she's such a great catch, you see what I'm saying? Do the math. D U D A M A F. Do the math. If she's such a great catch, if she, if she if she's so wonderful, if look look, if she's so wonderful, now let let's just say the baby's father died in a car accident, which I highly doubt it. But let's just say the baby's father died in a car accident. All right. If she's such a great fucking catch, why is she end up on a date with a dude who's running her around town to buy all his food? <laughs> Why and, and and why is she putting up with? Why does she put up with that shit more than once? Because the first thing went to the restaurant. Then he had a she had a, uh, she had to get food for her daughter. Some goofy shit. Why is she doing? See, do the math. Think, think. Why is she doing this? Either a she's she's dumb as fuck and she and she was get and and she fell into it because she's dumb as fuck. Or two, when you see her out in the wild, that's what feels comfortable approaching her. Because that's what she's worth for real. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. My boss you one year knew I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, "Oh, that's what you know. I order her pizza." That's why most of the relationships they cheat but on. Like, no, that's why most not. relationships they cheat on you with somebody at work because of shit like that. No, no I'm gonna no, pay no. for the, the, the door. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for all that. White man. And I'm pretty sure no, he some like, young pussy. What no, you mean? No, no, what you no, no, paying no, for? She wouldn't have to be looking to it. I was single at the time, but I'm gonna tell you what. No, I'm just saying. No, I get what you. I get what you say. I will fuck your boss up. No, 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 no. Respectfully. Respectfully. He's gotta tell him to tone it down. No, but what, this is the problem with guys. That's why I try to eliminate no, it so you, we don't have to go I'm there. I'm going to tell you the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem. I'm going to I'm going to tell you the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem. Nip it in the butt. Right. Because <laughs> like, I don't want to go there. I will not want to go there. That's what I'm saying. Because my nigga got hands for me. No, stop telling me that. <laughs> and and we're going to be at the live show next week. And this is a game. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my we had great conversations. Yeah, look, that's code for I'm innocent. So I have a, I, yeah, I'm innocent. Wait, I am. I'm very innocent. That's what my gift. dad told me. My dad told me if you ever had right, a kid enough, with enough, niggas, enough, like, enough, 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 enough. That's what, it. What was the gift like that you asked for? You're speaking too much. I didn't ask for a gift. All I said was a joke when it was Black Friday. Did you get me something? You know, but if he yeah. said I got him something, would you have collected him? Yes. Of course, but I still would have. Hold up. Listen, I would have collected him. I would have stuck him on my foot and I would have kicked him in his ass and hope the change fell out from what I already gave him. <laughs> we playing Sonic again. <laughs> the coin's coming out. Look, nah, you know what? That's funny. 
Last night we're playing a game. No, last night we're playing a game. We're playing Jenga. On a Jenga, it's like I pulled the one that says, do a handstand or take a shot. So I, I go do a handstand. The nigga Jay pushes me over. I fall on my back. Change for the <laughs> Look like Sonic and Hedgehog. All the coins came out. Right? Kick a nigga right in his ass. Yeah. Is it, man, hey, is it just me? Is it just me or they are just really masculine? <laughs> like, like they're not bad looking. But I, and I told my father this when I first came back. I told my father this. Like the women here, like you can just smell it on them. Like they're just masculine. Like it's that confusion from like, I got to fake like I'm strong because women fought for feminism before me. So I got to put this on. I got to put this act on in some kind of way. Like every culture here has some form of that. They're just like, I'm telling you, man, like if men, it's including the guys in the room, if they knew what was really out in the world for real, not just on like some little weekend trip somewhere, but they went and they went off and lived somewhere and they seen how they can be treated by women in the world for real. You know, how to, like, you know, they, you, you just wouldn't even, you just wouldn't even walk in the room with something like this. You just wouldn't do it. You, you, I, I, I personally, like, I would rather jack my dick off instead of ever go anywhere near this shit. It's just, it's fucking disgusting, man. It's, it's just, it's fucking gross. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. That's my quick video for today. Uh, well, let's go for another. Let's see, sit 123. Let's go another 30 seconds. Oh, I, James deal with it. My I hit my back so hard that the wind knocked out of me. Because why the fuck would Jay push me forward? I was about to do the fucking handstand. Because you look fucking to me. silly as shit. Nigga, so silly as the fuck out of here. Nigga, if she dies, she dies. I got a wow. question. <laughs> All right, I'm, Alex got a question. Trolling. Go ahead. The, I just want to be known that it's chill. trolling. Did you ask for a Rolex? What? The Rolex that you got, did you get? Hold on. Did you ask for a Rolex? Did you ask for a Rolex? I don't know nothing about no Rolex. Did you ask for a Rolex? Is he the fan? It's better than that. What's going on? Nah. Nigga said you work for the FBI. Nah, I don't know nothing about no Alex is watches. That. Alex, you know what? You are giving copish. You know what I'm saying? Because now that I think about it, now that I think it's pull your shirt up so we can I see y'all on the I never ever right. seen y'all act like this before. I'm like intermission. You act it different, back, different. Pat him down. Find out what's going on. You know why I said the Rolex though, right? No, I don't know nothing about that. To see if you really watch the, the show. You said he supported. I'm trying to see if you really watch your episodes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. Is he the feds? Nah, Yo, so here's I'll the thing. Fresh as it was, nah, the honestly, feds, it was a situation though where I felt like I... Honestly, if you don't like me and I don't like you and we stop talking to each other, I'm okay with that. What I don't respect is I feel like the post of the podcast was specific shade. Mm -hmm. You know I do a podcast. You never mentioned to me anything about the podcast except for, like, if I'm on my way, you ask me questions. But you never asked me. Like, you never watched it, none of that. So right then and there, like, I feel like men have to do a better job of taking responsibility of why shit does not work out. It's not always because the female asks for this or asks for that. Sometimes it's just because you did not meet required expectations mm. and these expectations weren't even something that cost money and you know only admit about, that and about this story too like okay so if you are talking to me and you tell me like oh yeah i bought some jordans like honestly like why are you telling me that Just yeah okay i'm done that's it <laughs> they still talking about buying jordans with oh my god like, grow the fuck up jesus Christ, i'm done I'm done. I just, I, there's only so much, you know, ratchet shit I can deal with. <laughs> it won't fucking, it won't fucking go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's always, it's so much. I, I can only deal with so much of that shit. I can only deal with so much of it, man. Um, I said, yeah, they're, they're not bad looking, but it's, it's that masculinity in them. It's that, and the thing is, like, they think they're like, they, if they didn't think it was cute, they wouldn't be doing it. They think it's cute to be like that. And the thing is, American men, they're so confused. They're, I mean, like, guys will still go after them just, just because of what they look like. like but, but, like, for the guys who are more initiated with it, as soon as these girls start opening their mouths, well, that, that's how they end up going on dates with guys trying to get them to buy their McDonald's. That's how that happens. Uh, that's the video. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day. Bye.